Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League, Season 2021, Week 2, Episode 3. I am your host, Dorgard, with my ever Valent, Valorant uh, co-host, J-Man. Welcome, everybody. I also don't play Valorant. No, nah, you're pretty Valorant. So with that, <laughs> we are moving in to the third episode, another two matches, uh, Episode 1 obviously being pretty one-sided, Episode 2 getting a lot closer, so Episode 3 could go anyway, honestly, and it'll be very interesting to see uh, what teams improve on what they did in Week 1. So starting us off, we have Dragon Ball GT, or known as Team GT, uh, basically all of the characters from the spin-off show of GT going up against... The Sentai Squad, everybody that is inspired directly by Power Rangers or Sentai, depending on what you know them as. So yeah, this should be a pretty good match. Obviously, uh, both teams a lot to prove this week. Going into the match, though, it's going to be a it's going to be an interesting start. Yeah, uh, starting off on GT, we have Sin Shenron with defense plus three, attack minus one, eternal life, latent energy, and Piccolo AI going up against Say a Woman with super plus one, dragon power, Dende's healing, latent energy, and Cell AI. So Shin did arguably the best, and he's on basically uber defense uh, yeah. last week. So we'll see how he does starting off this week, because he can indeed do quite a lot. And if he can get to three blast stocks, we can see Omega starting off with that B2 uh, trade, which has gone Ooh. quite favorably for Saiya Woman. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, only 6,000, I guess that's because of his uber defense, which will only get uh, stronger as he goes down. Yeah, I believe this is her two-bar rush as well, so it's the mm -hmm. weaker one. It's meant to not do uh, too much damage, but it's also extremely cheap. And we did not yeah. see Saiya Woman last week. She was uh, on their regular bench, so we will have to see. And she is starting off very strong. Yeah, I'd say so. Another, oh gosh, finally he dodges it. Uh, Adult Gohan is the one benched for Sentai this week. Yeah, and uh, Adult Gohan, very strong character, but also their free agent, so you know, less tested than the rest of their squad, where Say a Woman was their MVP user last uh, season. I think she was also in the All-Stars match, so very, very she strong was. character, uh, which is funny because she's got very similar build to, or not build, but like kit to Videl, but Videl is one who struggles. So, you know, quite interesting to see how you could call a clone character one way or another, and they can be on very different sides of the pole. Absolutely. I mean, just their small minor changes make a huge difference, and you never know, just the AI in general can be different. But uh, Sin pulling ahead finally. Sail Woman had the lead for the longest time, but he's back. Yeah, a couple well timed super trap shooters actually has helped turn it around. Uh, always funny how well he utilizes his trap shooter. Alright, and he can transform now, or yeah, now, but. He's too high of health, and we know he will transform because he did it last week. So Videl, sorry, say a woman, try to take some health off. She either needs to do that, but arguably she should just tag. It looked like a good That's matchup true. when she got the two health bar lead, but he's obviously woken up and realized what's going on and went, silly human, I'm an immortal Dragon Ball. And now he's uh, just beating the camera loving crap out of her. So she should yeah. really just tag out and let somebody else start dealing some damage. Uh, or if she's going to stay and absorb this ult. Okay, Justice Rush 2 is blocked, unfortunately. After him and Strike, still active. I thought that would have ran out by now. Justice Countdown, also dodged. He, he After he got hit by two of them, he learned. Oh, and he used his free Trap Shooter by being in max power mode. He's going to have a little bit of time to go for his uh, ult here, or a powered up B2. That Will he? he? Decides not to. Uh, in comes, say, a man. With defense plus three, attack minus one, power of rage, latent energy, light body savior, and Frieza AI using his uh, free, what is that, super explosive wave? Yes. Ooh, blazing storm. Whoa, he actually dodged Hello. it, and he's countering with a super explosive wave. Fantastic from Sam, man. Absolutely, that was amazing. And now we have two tanks, both defense plus threes against each other. Sin is low, but he also has, oh, eternal life, and he's out. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Transforming's cool and all, but I could tag. Ooh, bad use of savior there yeah. by GT Goku. Dragon Fist, while a very strong uh, and you know powerful rush B2, has very low range and minimal tracking, so it didn't go anywhere near far enough. 
Uh, did he get that justice pose off? I can't tell. It looks yes, like he, he did. did. Okay, he I, I was thinking he, that he, he was hasn't level. lost any bars, but he has a charge and melee boost. Yeah, because I was like, I thought that was the ult one, but it's not. The ult one a, looks a little longer, and nice little yeah. slow uh, tilt a whirl to miss the kick. I like it, I like it. Nice style from Sandman, 10 out of 10, but the damage, 0 out of 10. Yeah, and that's really unfortunate that GT Goku missed that ultimate because he does have Super Plus 2, Team Minus 1, Indignation, ultimate. Launcher Support, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Savior, and TNAI. Oh, sorry. His that's... ultimate is the uh, Supernova Psy Spirit Bomb. Right, 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 right. Is it uh, Super Saiyan 3 or 4? I thought one of them has Dragon Fist. Yes, yeah, Super ultimate. Saiyan 3 has Dragon okay. Fist, I believe, as the ulti. So it's really weird that Super Saiyan 1, it's just a regular B2. Uh, usually it's the opposite. A, yeah, usually the ult becomes a B2 in later forms, but I think it's because it's more powered up. It has more visual stuff later. Yeah. So. But I might right, be well, Okay, so GT Goku is taking it to Saiyan Man right now. Same man somehow getting that off, I guess, because of his light body. Yeah, light but, body uh, didn't work. By the way, that pose is basically just tension up for those that are watching. It just gives uh, two bars of oh. key, melee, and charge boost. And this is the uh, pseudo ult. Will this be it? Nope. Okay. Did a lot, but he has a defense plus three. So that's why he lived that. Uh, I think he needs a tag, though. He does have, I believe, um, what's it called? A t latent energy as well. So it's actually Oh, closer. he got key broke him. Oh, and it's two bars, so he's going to be able to get a lot of damage. And he's just going in on this combo. More posing. Waste a little bit of time with that, but not the worst thing in the world. I mean, getting a free pose off is always good. And going into a super explosive way... Oh, wow. It's rare getting we that see too that... Far range. Yeah, it's rare we see it too far, and they often run into it as well. All right, will he eat this super spirit bomb? He does not. Ooh. Sandman would have been better off if he had managed to block and made him waste it. So this could do half yeah. of Jace's health if he goes for it. Easily. And Jace is coming in with Key Plus One, Power of Rage, Dende's Healing, Light Body Savior, and Yajirobe AI. Purple Common Attack, that's it! Ooh, oh, punched, punched out him. of it. Though he did make GT Goku waste all of his time on Savior. So arguably not the worst trade. But yeah, would have been funny if he's like, you want to see an ult? I'll show you an ult. Oh, and that Kamameha for 10k. Yeah. Wow, okay, so in Jace, oh, looking like he was going to go up, but now we have a Clash. Jace should win this. Uh, Power does. Rage doesn't affect beam Clashes. It doesn't? I thought no, it did. No, Clash Pataras do nothing for beam Clash. It's pure random once beams hit. It's wow, not even I, like, I, it's not even like, oh, ults get higher priority. It's like pure random. It's just whoever wow. rolls their stick, I guess, faster, which is obviously random for AI. Well, um, I guess I should remember that. I feel like I've heard that before, but I should remember that. I think in Zen comes, has preached it, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with attack plus 2, defense minus 1, one series, quick fast attack, Dende, healing, power of rage, and Yajirobe AI. Yeah, this will be interesting. Verbal we'll combat attack. Oh, spear breaking cannon. Now he should win should this win one. Should win that. Oh, he doesn't. But he doesn't. Wait, they oh, both they have both power have range, power range. Right? Yeah. yeah. We, we, we literally did the same exact thing in the same sequence. By the way, rush B2s seem to give like plus 0.1 clash boost. So since they both also did a rush, it also evened it out that way. Interesting. Yeah, it's really weird how clash works. It's like, the, weir the way it works is not how you'd think. It's like a percentage boost, kind of? Mm -hmm. Crusher it, ball. It, oh, nice crusher nice. ball. Nice. Well, speaking of the match, Jace, get out of there. You're not doing well. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Does not get a chance. In comes Birder with defense plus two, attack minus one, eternal life, indomitable fighting spirit, and Piccolo AI up against the remaining members of GT, which they still have Pike on yet to hit the field. That is their free agent pickup, a very strong character. I'm expecting a lot of things from him, at least GTR. But Birder was, like, the best member of Sentai last week. So, and he's on an Eternal Life build, which basically gives him the highest opportunity to return the match into a, their favor. But it's going to be, like, an elite performance now. Just about. Like, yeah. very close. And in comes Pycon with Defense Plus 2, Fighting Spirit, Sirius, Dende's Healing, Savior, and Yajiro BEI. So, definitely not an easy mountain to climb for Mr. Birder, but... If he can do what he did previous weeks, he might be able to see something. 
And he's doing well so far. Blocked the rush B2. Has uh, obviously stalled out long enough for the savior to go away. So doing what he needs and getting the lead now on the other green folk. But yeah, he's going to need to do a lot more. It's going to be a tough one. But he is indeed able to do it, as we said. Uh, I will say, got to give credit to Jace. I think he threw like two or three ults. None of them like hit per se, but they were all blocked. So he tried. You got to give him some credit. Yeah, you'd like to see the AI tendency, even if it doesn't always work out. Oh, in an early tag, that was weird. I mean, he just wants to get a savior back. He's like, man, you made me waste it before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back later. Early tags from GT all around. In comes Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta again. He also has healing, so not looking good for Birder. Yeah, but I mean, he's making it work. He's a, uh, he's certainly holding his own. Gotta feel bad. It's this is a. Uh a monumental mountain to climb that, you know, if he breaks, it'll show that this is a new birder compared to last season's. Full power energy ball. Nice damage. I think he'll be able to take out Vegeta and maybe Sin, but I don't think he's going to be able to get through birder as well. Or, not birder. Jesus. Uh, Pycon as well. Yeah, he'd have to defeat birder as well to win it at this point is what it feels like. Uh, it's so heavily in GT's favor. And even though, like, he's doing well, this is still a very heavy melee build. Lucky enough, he you know, fell on top of the hill, but another tag. Just yeah. when you thought oh, it could Jesus. get worse. Just when you thought it could get worse, now oh. Sin transforms into Omega. And he could go for ult right now. The minus energy death ball would be excruciating. It is a massive ult. It yeah, would be cool to see it, it, though. You want to end the match that way, my friend. And he has power body, too. Dragon Thunder. Uh, this yeah, should that's do it. Be it. Super powered Stab. by the max mode. He has defense, and... but it's not going to be enough. Uh, no, that was ten. probably going to be 10k if he hit the ground. So, a really strong victory from GT. Yeah, nice turnaround from them. Shin, Shenron doing an easy, you know, 50 to 60k, which is great that he's keeping up with that. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta turn around. And Birder still did just fine, albeit, you know, with a mountain to climb. But nice job from both teams. I think they are both 2-1-1 one and one now. So, uh, you know, pretty even going on. Should I get moving on to our next next match then? Match number six. Uh, yep, let's do it. So match number six, we have all of our tournament goaders. Basically anybody who has competed in a Budokai Tenkaichi tournament uh, in Team Budokai going up against... Team Cinema. All of our characters that first appeared in a movie or an OVA. So yeah, this should be an interesting one. Both teams looked pretty solid last week, so... You know, it's not like much else is going to uh, change. So let's get moving into the match then. Yep. Uh, starting off for Cinema, we have Turles with defense plus three, attack minus one, master throw, rising fighting spirit, Dende healing, fighting spirit, and TNAI going up against Mercenary Tau with defense plus two, latent energy launcher support, Dende's healing, and Ginyu AI. So it looks like on the bench this week for Cinema is second form Frieza, and on the bench for Budokai is Cyborg Tau. So, so I've just been uh, oh. notified that in terms of the Rush B2 thing, if you go in with a Rush B2 or Rush Ult, the game just gives that character more advantage. So mm -hmm. that didn't really matter since they both have Power of Rage and they both you know used a Rush B2, so it's it was still neutral, but. Just a funny example of had one just flown into that, they would have lost, even though they yeah. both had power of rage. So, so many quirks we're always learning about Pataras. And by the way, um, Mercenary Tau, you want to calm down? Goku Black's supposed to be iconic here. Okay, and another crane. Wow, he is going in on Turles, and Turles has a defense plus three. Yeah, I mean, it's two defense characters. It's just one's getting off the B2s, and B2s can shred defense. Uh, Turles has got Master Throw and trying to get these throws off, though. There we go. Finally, do do a Fruit Loop. I don't think it's called Fruit Loops anymore, but... No, it is Kill Driver. Kill Driver. Which Speaking is of which... <laughs> edgy name for no reason. Unfortunately, uh, he is not letting himself get his Blast Ducks up, so we don't think we're going to be seeing Ape Turles unless he tags here. Uh, but if yeah. he keeps landing these grabs, he's going to give himself the space. Honestly, if he Kill can Driver. Hit... Oh, nope. unfortunate. I was going to say, if he, he can hit a kill driver or an ult and then tag out, that would be the best because he is struggling, and right now he'd get two bars. Yeah, I really hope that he does tag. We'll see if he does. 
He's being kind of weird and he cannot land those. Finally lands one kill driver. Honestly, a pretty good B2, so it's surprising it took so long to hit. He did get gypped yeah. about 10 seconds ago, but that one finally hit, and now he's finally taken some health off Mercenary Tau, who'd been holding three to four bars just like whole time. Yeah, Tau unfortunately could not finish off Turles. I mean, he had such a lead for his team, but he just kind of faltered a little bit, and uh, Turles has definitely picked up the slack. Gotta give some credit to Turles. He hits like four or five crabs, really making his master throw give some damage. And he's throwing a ton yeah. of kill drivers, which is definitely like his higher damage B2. Though the other one has a little more tracking, so it might have chipped away a little more. Yeah, I mean, credit to Turles where it is due. And he has now completely brought this back, even match for the most part. Uh, I think either of these characters can tag now. I want to point out, he survived for so long. He at one bar that even go. though he's been at one bar the whole time he went from zero to three blast stocks allowing him to transform which is kind of ridiculous will he do anything with ape though because usually they transform and die we'll see well master throw means his grabs like 4k almost guaranteed now and he also Let's has see. full key though this will that kill should be it yep you know good job turtles honestly from for going yep. down to one bar then using that one bar to make a huge comeback like that is kind of ridiculous and exactly what they needed to stay in this match. Absolutely. In comes Janimba with attack plus two, defense minus one, eternal life, serious light body, and Ginyu AI. He needs to finish off Tao immediately and start working on 18, who I think is going to be a huge threat. Oh, and there we go. Unblockable key blasts doing a nice 12k e or 1200 each. So a uh, near even match again, though this savior, how it's going to be used by 18 could dictate the flow of the match. Absolutely. 18 coming in with Super Plus 1, Indignation, Savior, Power of Rage, Dende Stealing, and Frieza AI. So correct me if I'm wrong, I think 18 was out last week. So we didn't get to see much of her. So it's going to be interesting so. to see what she brings to the match this week. And obviously uh, Jane, I think, was in last week, but Cinema won by three characters, so didn't even have to come out. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that sounds about right. Jane is struggling a little bit against... 18's just barrage of supers. Yeah, this is the power of, you know, such a strong character like 18 who has really high passive key gain and being an android that having some of the highest one is just absolutely devastating for any opponent. But the defense minus one on Jane is probably not helping too much either. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we, I see Fasha in the back and I think she would be a better matchup. But we'll see. Oh, that was a great B2 from Jane. Though it is arguable because, you know, the melee damage from Jane right now is absolutely insane being so boosted right now by the Sirius and Attack Plus 2. So we'll have yeah, to see. Combo. He's immediately brought it back with like a 10k combo. Wow. Oh, look, this... He doesn't have any Rush Blast boost. That was just doing a ton of damage. Yeah, he's just a character that has incredibly good Rush Blast on their own. Uh, that health pushback is kind of risky, especially since she went into ult. There we go. Destructor Disc finishes off. Will 18 tag? I think that's what she needs to do as Gogeta comes in. She's not doing it. Now, I think Jane did a great job finishing off Mercenary Tau, nearly taking out 18 and making her waste her max power mode on him before going out. Yeah. Though she is still, you know, chipping away at Cinema here, which is absolutely fantastic for Budokai. And if she can get a tag off, that would be even better. Yeah. Oh, oh and there it is. Witch. I think it's gonna be a selfish tag. It is not. Well, I, can, I think it is, but it didn't end up hurting him too much. Yeah, this is a uh, very good, you know, use of that tag, and obviously very good by Nom to do a rush B2 to close the distance immediately. And he's just continuing. He is just pounding on Gogeta. Have we heard yeah. either of their builds yet? Uh, no, uh, Gogeta is coming in with Key Plus 2, Super Minus 1, Rush Blast 3, Indignation, Serious, Latent Energy, and Cell AI going up against Nom with Attack Plus 2, Defense Minus 1, Serious, Light Body, Eternal Life, and Gohan AI. So, Gogeta's supers would do a pretty decent amount of damage to him if he can connect. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see which one of these guys, because Gogeta had a fantastic week last week, and Nom took out Majin GG, considering... Yeah you know, one of the better characters in the league, potentially. So, obviously a strong one at the beginning of last season. So, speaking of which, Gogeta's really pulling it back. Yeah, he has not been really charging. He's been going in with the melee, which he's not particularly built for. He has Sirius, but that's it. 
I suppose for that reason. He has, yeah, Indignation and Sirius. So if he does land any of his supers, they would be decent damage. He also has gotten a few finish signs off, and I would like to point out that he has the best finish sign in the game because it's only one blast stock. Oh, that's not it. I thought that was it. But looks like, yeah, this should be it. Oh, what? no, grab. the grab. Will he tag, though? This would be very clutch. I don't think he's going to. Nope. Uh, you know, it's like the B2 hit. He still slapped him in the back of the neck. And yeah. it's all down to Fasha. Now, if you had to give it all down to one person on Cinema, I think they would have Fasha be it. She did a number in last year's MVP and All-Stars events. But uh, this is quite a match. I think, what, they have full health Yamcha, one bar 18, yep. and now one bar Eternal Light Nom. Yeah. And I don't think that's an undoable thing, really, by any character. That's 60k. Definitely a good week, but nothing crazy. Yeah, it's not too out of the ballpark, especially for a character like Fasha. Though the for the villagers, I thought would be very bad if he did like a cross arm attack or hit with yeah. an ult. But no, she managed to hit with the B2 and take him out right quick. Now Yamcha here is there. Uh, they did a loan to get Yamcha. Ooh. So you'll be seeing him for this season only on Budokai. And that's an ult. Oh, ultimate spirit. Oh, wild sense. I thought she got hit by it, but that was just the... Uh... The rush blast that was the uh extra small spirit bomb that was following her the extra large <laughs> one missed uh by the way fascia was coming in with defense plus two dende healing combo master latent energy quick fast attack and goku ai whereas yamcha's coming in with key plus one serious fighting spirit savior dragon power and piccolo ai well yamcha's, yamcha's doing, not doing bad yamcha's doing quite well actually doing a lot more uh damage here than what nam was doing though nam had a lot less health Ooh, oh, stopping her from she, going she just charged now, sadly, while this is an air quote night map, it does not have a moon, so no Ape Fasha. Yeah. Unfortunately, no Ape Fasha, unless she can't do the Spirit Ball mix, right? No, she is called. a require specific map character. Oh, nice B2. Man, she's even it up all of a sudden. Uh oh, bad oh, B2. Oh, this is a good B2. Check this out. It's going to knock him out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did not work out in her favor. This will do some decent damage. She's going to have to clutch up, but she could do this. Yeah, it's still very much in range. Nice wild sense there. Uh, I mean, this is this might come down to the wire, or Yamcha might just finish this. Though there is the possibility yeah. that she kills Yamcha, 18 comes out, and then just hits with the B2 or ult, because she is at yeah. dangerously low life. And she has Savior. 18 does. Yeah, but Fasha is looking very dead. I don't think she's going to go to that. Uh, obviously, that B2 misses because she's on the ground, but it doesn't matter because Yamcha kills her anyways. Well, I'd say it was a pretty good showing. You could say, argue that that was a, a fine showing from Fasha. Uh, but yeah, that lead early, just kind of somehow Budokai was able to turn it into a big lead by the end. Uh, kind of funny how it started with a two-bar lead and ended with a two-bar lead. But good job, Budokai, getting their first win, and I believe Cinema going to one and one. So evening up here, lots of lots of teams going to be doing that this week. Absolutely, and I think that's the end of the episode. Yes, it has been a excellent episode three. Thank you all for watching. As always, we have in the description down below links to the Discord where you can join in active discussions, watch parties, join teams, uh, make suggestions for the league. There's also a link to the website which will have all your information from stats to team themes to the schedule. And of course, a link to the Twitter, which will have updates on when events and other things are going on. I am been your host, Dorgard, with my ever stern co-host, J-Man. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, guys.